In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you two ways to normalize the color across multiple clips. These are two quick approaches that you can use in PowerDirector. Many times you'll have a clip where you have a great shot and you have multiple scenes but the lighting has changed, the time of day has changed, and you want to make some modifications so they look a little more similar. Or you may have a case like this one where you have two very different clips shot in different locations at different times. In this one we have nice bright colors, sharp shadows, and then in this one it's more muted, we have softer shadows, different time of day, different location. How can you make these look a little more like each other? We're going to show you two methods. The first method we're going to look at is called color match. Now to use color match you have one of two options. You can take the clip that you would like to change and modify. Let's take this Jeep on the beach on this rather foggy morning or evening and modify that to look a little bit more like the other Jeep picture color-wise. So I click on it and then all I need to do is click on the option that says Fix Enhance and I'm going to choose the Color Match option on the Enhance submenu. And then I click the Color Match button. That opens up my Color Match control panel and when I look in the color match panel I have a reference section and on the right I have a target section. Now the target clip is the one that will be edited, it will be modified, the reference one won't. Then all I need to do is click the other clip that I want to make my reference section. I'm going to click on the red Jeep one, I could click on the non-contiguous one if I wanted to. And then I can click the frame that I want to be the frame it uses when it makes the matching and that will make a difference. So I'm going to click this one here and then I like this frame and I could click any frame here to view the, the impact of it but I'm going to click on match color. It will do its thing and I will have a color match between this, this particular clip and this clip. You notice things that have changed. Now if I'm not happy with all of the changes I do have some modifications I can make. For example, I can change the level of the matching down. I can change the hue if I want to. I can change the saturation. In this case, that's not what I want. It turns everything bluish. And I can change the brightness, either up or down, as much as I want to try to match the other clip. So I can make some modest modifications. Let's try it on a different frame. Let's go way over here to this one and do a match color. And it might give me a slightly different result. Let's turn it to a 62% and do a match color. So you can make all these modifications with it as much as you like before you apply the result to the second clip. So there's some modifications you can make using these tools. And then when you're done you click on apply and you notice in the timeline it's going to add this little icon to the lower left corner of your thumbnail. It tells you that you have color match enabled. I'm going to close that out but if I want to remove it and start all over or remove it or do other things with it I click on the eye, choose the color match option and then I can turn off color matching right here. So there are all kinds of things that you can do. Now color match will only work on two clips at a time. It won't work on all the clips on your timeline. Let me show you the other way to get into color match. All I need to do is click on any of the two clips I want to use. We'll take the same two just to make it simple. And then now I have a color match button that automatically appears above the timeline. So I click on color match and it gets me right back into the same screen. And in this case, my target is the red Jeep. If I want to switch the target in reference, all I need to do is click on the double arrow, and it will swap the two. And now it will edit the, the white and blue Jeep, not the frame with the red Jeep on it. So you can switch it back and forth that way as much as you want. So that's how to deal with two clips at a time using color match. If I want to use color match, and I have more than two clips I want to use, what I need to do is take the, the one I'm matching everything to, 
and do them in pairs. Here's another pair I'll pick. I'll click on color match. I want to make sure my Jeep is my reference shot, so I'll switch the two in this case. We'll have the cyclist over there. I'll do a match color. I can change the level again. I think I'm going to definitely want to change the brightness. And now I've done a little color matching between these two. When I'm done, I click apply. And I'm back and I've done matching. Now if you have a lot of shots that you're going to use, let me suggest a different way to do this using a different kind of approach called LUTs. If you go to your effect room, you're going to see you have under your content a subset called Color LUT or Lookup Table. I'm going to click on that. And in the LUT section, here's the ones I have on my computer. We're going to look at these two other clips that are somewhat similar. Here's an aerial shot of Portland. Here's an aerial shot of Miami. And let's assume they're close enough. They're not too bad. Quite, quite a lot of similarities. All I need to do is apply a LUT to both of them. And again, I can drag a LUT to as many clips as I want to. I'll take this one and drag it. And I'll take, drag the, the, the same LUT to the next clip. And if we look carefully when we play these, we're going to have kind of a similar look and feel. It's kind of this warm, autumnish, uh, brownish tone to the clip in the Portland shot. And then we'll move to the Miami shot and the Miami shot will show the same kind of color range that we had in the other shot. The other thing you need to remember is you don't have to match 100%. Let's go back to the Portland shot. I'm going to click on the, the eye and then choose color LUT. I'm going to change the strength back. Maybe I'll only maybe make it 31%. And likewise, I can do the same on the other shots that I'm using. Let's take this one. Maybe I want to make it uh, a little more intense here, maybe 38%. So you can do some small modification on the intensity of the LUT between the two shots. You can make them identical or somewhat different. So you don't have to settle for 100% of what you get in the LUT when you apply it to any of the clips. And I could take that same clip and I could apply that LUT on every single clip that I have here on the track. And so now they are all modified with that same LUT. Back again on these two, they're still 100% because I haven't changed it. That's the second approach that you can take in normalizing color in a very simple way in CyberLink PowerDirector.